ULA is the result of a joint venture between Boeing and Lockheed Martin. It was formed back in 2006 after the last big satellite boom that was expected in the late 90s and never really materialized and actually led to something of a collapse in the launch market uh, back then. But joining us now for more is Mark Foggett, CEO of Seraphim Capital. Mark, thanks for joining us today. Good evening. I want to... I want to get your response to Tori Bruno's comments just now and uh, I guess in terms of context why perhaps he's wrong given the fact that you are making investments in this space. Well, it, it, indeed, um, there are now nearly 150 companies that have raised venture capital funding in the launch segment. And I actually tend to agree with him. I think that there are too many companies that are being invested and it's, uh, it's highly likely that the majority of them are fail. But I still think that we'll be left with um, three, four, five, six venture-backed um, launch companies that will go on to succeed. Now, Mark, uh, investing in space at CNBC.com, I would point viewers uh, towards some of the articles written by my colleague Michael Sheets there. But the way he breaks this down is there's really four main categories, human space flight, national security, satellite communications, and imagery and data analysis. Where do you see the greatest opportunity for investment right now, and how would you be going about it? Yeah, we see the opportunity in the imagery and analysis. Um, the, we believe that, uh, well, our thesis as a fund is that um, the size of satellites, the cost and weight of them, has, uh, has fallen to a level where satellites with um, significant functionality can be launched for between uh, 100000 and a $1 million per satellite. So uh, the traditional satellites costing 300, 400, 500 million dollars, the smaller satellites enable you to build a much bigger constellation. And it's the big constellations that we believe where the value is because they can, br they can bring data to almost real time or indeed real time. We think it's the real time nature of this data that's going to create a lot of big new market opportunities in a very broad range of end verticals, such as the insurance market, the uh, maritime market through to the retail, construction, oil and gas. And uh, we believe that there are billion dollar opportunities to use this close to real time data in a broad range of these end markets. And that's where the opportunity lies. Mark, Mark.